max. And as I've been told you, you're going to come back to do the average. I'm going to show you how you do the average. Very simple. So whenever you're going to do the average, you just click on there, the average, as you can see there. And you look to the formula. And you go to more functions, always more functions. And you go to static or, and you look, at, you look for average, the second one. You click on it. And now, as you can see there, it's giving you B13 to B14. So we don't need the mean and the max. So what you need, you need the average of your bills, which is the mortgages to insurance. So what you do, since it's been like 13 or 14, and you don't need it, you just erase it, backspace, and then you just highlight it there. For mortgages, insurance, you do the total here, and you click OK. Set. And then the next one, for January 2024, go there. And then you go to more functions and static core average. Click on it. And then you done this one, you, you move it. And what you do, you highlight it from mortgages to car insurance. And you see, now you see C4 to C10. See C4 to C10. You click OK. Get your result. And you go to you're gonna need now the average for the month of February. February, you just click on it. And then you go to same thing, which is more functions, static order, and average. Because you need average. Now it gives you P D 13 to D14. You want to need that, just erase it. What you do now, you highlight what gauges to car issues. See, I say T4 to T10. See, T4 to T10, give you a result. And you click OK. I'm going to do the last one with you. You click this. And then what you do, you go to more function again. Always more function. Start the code and look for average because you need average. And then it's going to give you the one one. You're going to give you 13 to 14. You don't need that. Just erase it, backspace, and then you highlight mortgages up to insurance. You get your result here, which is E4 to E10, as you can see there. And then you, can, you get your result back here, and you can OK. One more time, just for you to show better, and you will do the rest by yourself. You put your, you click on average here for the month of April, and you go back to more functions, static or in average and then you always erase and then now you highlight the whole line that the line that you need and if you now f4 up to f then which is that tail and you can go result and you can get a simple as it and then you cut it the same thing you click you click on this you click on the functions you highlight you always erase and highlight Okay, now I'm going to give you a bonus. You're going to do the count. That was not there, but I'm just adding it for you. Now you're going to count what the count do. Count help you to find how many bills that you have for the month of December. As you can see here, we have seven. One, we got more gauge light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you don't have to keep counting like that, you have to do it from the formula. But sometimes you might have different bill for each one. So what you do, you will still work function. You're going to look for, you go to static order and you look for count. It's count there, click on it. You do one thing, you always erase, and you do the same thing. Highlight from what gauges to insurance. And you give you seven, because you got seven billion there. You do the same thing for January. January, you might have six, you might have five. That's why you have to always do it. I know for all this bit here, we have seven. But the way you have to do it, you got to always do it because some months you might have less bill. Or more. So you got to always bet me on my hand. I got always do this bit seven. And then you, what you can do, you just go again to more functions, static or which yeah, you always erase what come up because always there or there because that you correct one. And then you highlight it. Get seven. See? I put this, this one, I go to the one. So what you can do. Count. Okay. You go to count. Here we go. Functions. Start the code. Because I put one which. 
and which were there, then you highlight issues. And you get seven bills. Same thing, you do the next one again. You're gonna still have, always have seven because I got seven here. And then you go there, go to more function, count, you erase, and you highlight. At seven. I'm gonna do the last two so you can put the equal. I go to the next one, which is merge. Same thing, you go to more functions, all these more functions, and look for count. Erase backspace and you highlight it up to ensures that seven bits for the part. And you get for April 2024, same thing, you click on it, and then you go to more functions always, statical, and you look for count. You go there to see erase backspace and then you highlight. Highlight. Thank you. Okay, you got seven there. So you see, you got seven bits. So now, now you've been asking yourself, that's gonna be on the bonus. Why I got this yellow, this green thing there? So don't worry about that. Excel has always a way. What you can do, there's a way you can remove it. You just click on it. See the yellow? It's the thing, it's a hello there. You click on it. And you see formula, update, help, ignore. You click on ignore, remove. You know, the same thing for the rest one. You click on it, you ignore it. It's gonna be removed. Or you can do this, you do this. You just remove it the same thing. Remove. Or you just remove it. Click on it. Just remove, that's the same thing. Always do, you click on it, you do it by yourself, you can remove it. Okay, click on it. And ignore. And ignore. You can do it. Just show it to you one by one. So there's a way you can just highlight the whole thing. Also, if you want, and you can just remove everything if you want. So my friend, that's the way. So make sure that you understand everything that's been done, and then. You see next time you see everything has been removed. Now, if you like this video, just do me a favor, subscribe, like, and share. So anytime you get something good like that, you'll be notified. So it was Harry. And next time we're gonna come with something different. And we're gonna see the sum again. But I'm gonna show you the auto sum. So we can, there's a way you can do it faster. We have to go step by step with you especially for those who are new baby. But there's a way we can do everything faster. We have to go slowly because remember, we start with adding slowly and we do by colon B4, B5. And then I've been asking her, show you how to do by formula. And now we're gonna go faster. Next class, I'm gonna show you how to do it with auto sum. So stay there because as I've been told you, in this channel, you're going to learn good stuff for free. Like, subscribe, and share. This Harry. It was a pleasure to be with you guys. Take care. God loves you. Keep in touch. Bye-bye. See you.